couple days later. Oh, okay, the university was the next day. Diverted pack towards command post result. Night skirmish in combined area with a large number of combatants. Video attached. End skirmish, seven survivors. Unknown bioweapon deployed at point uh, D18. Tracking as per order, but it appears to be on the hunt. Got eyes on two stars, a male infected and a female. Bioweapon is pursuing the female. Uh, oh, that's midnight. Uh, female Jill Valentine has made contact with MV Platoon. Bioweapons uh, appearance and behavior are consistent with Project N investigating. Observed bioweapon uh, wielding conventional weapons. It seems to be strongly fixated on terminating JV and knows the city layout. Evidence. Uh, Evidence that can be imprinted. Metamorphosis in the bioweapon triggered by a hostile encounter with JV. Video attached. JV has been infected and is non responsive. Collect samples as per orders. Over 17 hours have elapsed since uh, JV's exposure to the virus. Conversion has been slow, sluggish. She may be resistant. <clears throat> Vaccine recovered and administrated to JV by CO, a soldier in the MV platoon. JV. Uh, Expected to be fit for combat approximately 20 hours post exposure. Seems clear bioweapon project in contact with JV caused it to change and evolve. Will induce further encounters to obtain more. Uh, will induce further encounters to get more data. Great. I don't like these dust particles. Blum. Oh, okay. About to say, blow them away, Jill. I got through. They're willing to negotiate. Oh. They'll call up the strike if, and this is one big ass if, we can deliver the vaccine to them before they launch. How long do we have? Hours. Yeah. Maybe. Then let's not waste one more second. This way. Tyrell is the luckiest dirtbag in the world. We'll find the vaccine up ahead. Like, dude, how did you get past the albino zombie? I don't like this. Tyrell, you're about to die. I can't run. Sure you don't need to stop? Stop and do what? I got your back. Alright, let's get this done. Tyro, please tell me you got a grenade. No, nope. all right then. <laughs> I love it when cutscenes reflect mechanics in the game. Cause, oh, thanks. Jill needs a shower. <laughs> Cause, yeah, you know, like it, it did the brief little whoosh when she does her uh, witch time dodge. Oh, oh, I see you in there. Oh, oh, these are albino zombies. Wow, not even blood spurts, so I don't think these guys are real zombies. Okay, I haven't done too terribly much, so I'm probably just gonna save over my last, ooh, my last uh, save file. I mean, you know what, let's just make some shotgun ammo and store that.
Get the vaccine, okay. Alright, what do you have to say, file? Nest 2 employee regulations. The objective of this T-Virus research facility is different from those of Umbrella's main Nest facilities. Here we focus on real-world use cases which arise as bioweapons are created and introduced, such as the need for T-Virus vaccines and new weaponry capable of suppressing bioweapons. Some aspects of our work here can be dangerous, so it is imperative that all employees adhere to workplace regulations without fail, in particular unauthorized entry by unapproved visitors or the removal of work-related data or materials will be met with severe disciplinary actions. It is a great honor to be part of the finest research organization in the world. Keep this in mind and stick to the rules as we forge uh, new and revolutionary technologies. Oh, hot dog, got a map. Oh, I hate that there's this. Oh. Oh, look at this boss arena. Oh, boy. Okay, so I'm probably going to be heading up to second floor. Okay, yeah, this is going to be where I'm going. Incubation lab, that's great. You better not get up. I'm going to be so cross with you. Video game, I just do not want to encounter any more hunters. Okay, so that seems to go nowhere, so there's probably something back there. Isaac Graves' diary. Uh, the pay was generous, the benefits were good, most importantly, they promised me I'd be contributing to state-of-the-art medical tech research for university teachers stuck working in nowhere in America. It's a golden opportunity, like winning the lottery, so I went for it. <laughs> I made the pitch to my family and we agreed to move here to Raccoon City. Well, in hindsight, well, hindsight is twenty twenty because this lab is a den of monsters who conduct cruel and barbaric experiments for the sole purpose of taking human life in the most sickening way possible. It's messed up, the world needs to know. But every time I work up enough courage to blow the whistle, I think of Penny and Cassie and immediately chicken out. Umbrella owns this town. There was this guy they uh, caught trying to smuggle out company secrets. They essentially fed him to one of the betas. Fed him! I saw the whole thing. I got my wife and my daughter into this, I just need to do my job, do as I'm told, for their sake. But let this be a testament that I do have a conscience and, and that I've learned my lesson. Well, rip in peace, Isaac. go through this terror hole and I guess there's gonna be a door or like a knocked out wall somewhere you're alive okay so there is stuff here ooh okay yeah I got plenty of space Okay, you don't seem to have anything near you. There doesn't... Ah, nuts, there's handgun ammo. Alright. Foil. I say on vaccine synthesis. Oh, jeez, do I have to like synthesize this? Uh, Nathaniel Bard. The roles of antigens and adjuvants. Never heard that word before. Uh, most to most efficiently synthesized vaccine, both an antigen and an adjuvant. 
uh, are required. The antigen produces an immune response, which the adjuvant increases the effects of such responses, leading to an increased antibody production. By combining the samples of the two ingredients, we can create a potent vaccine base. By processing this vaccine base, our proprietary equipment, a larger batch of vaccine can be created with astonishing ease. What's more, my latest antigen and adjuvant samples uh, yield unprecedented rates of antibody production, production producing more than thousand times the yield of traditional materials. This not only makes it an effective vaccine, but also a potential way to eliminate existing infection. You. To begin vaccine synthesis, place the materials in the chamber. Place the I have so nothing. I have to make it myself. <sighs> All right, gotta figure this out. Oh wait, these guys look like humans. So, okay. Okay, so did I? Okay, so is that thing just the last thing here that I'm gonna have to worry about? Okay, one second, making the rounds. Making the rounds. Okay, so yeah, I guess. Override key successfully generated. What if we hear? Override key removed. That's a massive UBS. I want one that big. Okay, so was that what I needed? No, there's still some secrets hiding in this room. No, oh, well, I'm. I'll either find them or I don't. Oh, that bodes well right there. Okay, so I have an override key. Okay, it's probably used to access that kind of stuff. Oh! Bastard. Okay, yeah, still no idea what's here. It's probably the, uh, the vaccine generator. But it doesn't help to just shove my face into everything, to be sure. Yeah, okay. Nothing else here. Okay, so I can now prob... Okay, so yeah, I can probably go through this big dumb locked door down here with the uh, albinoids. But first, I'm gonna save, because that's gonna end in bullshittery at best. Okay. Sneak attack!
Why did you throw my pants at me? Because they were in my room. Okay. Oh no. Okay. They don't look to me. Oh no. Oh no. Let me get that. Let <laughs> me just pick that up. <coughs> oh my god, is. Okay, so I got a culture sample. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go grab another one of my people repairs. Oh, okay, I was about to say. Uh, I don't wanna waste three of these combining into one super herb, but I might not have much of a choice. Okay, he's a zombie now. Unauthorized materials detected. Either I've got this wrong or I'm missing a step. Oh, Mr. X's. How quaint. Okay, so... I'm right here. I can't get to the lab that's right there. Wait. Oh my god, are you telling me that I fucked up and didn't go out a door? Oh, I'm an idiot. So I saved right before doing that, so I might just reload that save. second. There's no door up here. Oh my god. The door's down there. Yeah, just eat me. wonder how these idiots feel about... Okay, I don't have that. Um, where did my grenades get? There they are. Uh, shortcut. Okay. Override complete.
Oh, that seemed to turn him into... Nope. Jesus Christ. What do I have to do to kill these idiots? Can they only be stunned? Is that their deal? Oh yeah, at least the... Uh, hello Griff. Some of the sound effects of these zombies are giving me... Yeah, they are giving giving off super, like, Life of Us... Last of Us vibes. Oh, no, please tell me how to kill the white zombies. Uh... Weaponry, normal synthesis, team being made of normal. This fills all subjects. The subjects from the same level of danger as a bioweapon. The leaves of this weapon. Uh, okay. Pale heads. Uh, yeah, these are the idiots. Been appearing with regularly, but the specific cause has not been yet determined. Makes it difficult to deliver a lethal blow with standard weaponry. Any sort of system failure curve will be amplified. That high powered weaponry capable of subduing the pale heads to be issued. Do I have to waste Magnum ammo on these idiots? Oh, hey, he stayed popped. That's rad. Oh my god, I do have to waste Magnum ammo on these fucks. Shipping notice. Cargo Nemesis! Uh, <laughs> they took him by train? Or... No, they took him by plane. Okay. Class 1 hazardous material. All transit within the United States has to be made via helicopter. Take extreme care during takeoff and landing, as shock to the parcel may potentially lead to self-activation. Oh boy! Uh, we here at the European branch are excited to hear your thoughts and evaluations on the newest prototype. And are pleased to offer this specimen for your testing. It has been through numerous trials and possesses incredible destructive power, so please exercise extreme caution when using it. Oh boy. Okay, I I have one more. And I can hear one of these. Yep. Oh, that's unfortunate. Yeah, I don't have much of a choice there. Okay, you look like a human, so you're not gonna get back up. Um, you, on the other hand, are questionable at best. Heck, I'm gonna have to go back and empty out all this crap. Hey, if I sneak up behind you, you know it's why I take this. Fucking sick, dude. Ah, heck, that's explosive powder. I need that. Double heck. He won't throw for that twice. Actually, who knows? He might just fall for that twice. Okay, Lightning Hawk, you're going away. Um, additional ammo, you're going away. You're going away. You're going away for now. Okay, I can make more shotgun shells. That's the thing I certainly... You know what? Go away. Uh, 
Uh, please tell me he is indeed going to fall for this the second time. Can I just like reach around? Nope. I get fucked. <laughs> I talk a big game when I when I don't have to fight anyone. Uh, do not tell me that I need the grenade launcher for this uh, upcoming sequence because I do not want to go through there again. Yes. <laughs> okay, so let's see, where are we going? Um, okay, this does not look like a boss arena. This, I'm worried about, but not here, actually. Even though this is full of tyrants. Oh shit. Oh, he's he's got traps for days. I uh, can't wait for people to rip these models and slap them in RE2. Okay, you still look human. So you're probably not gonna transmogrify until, uh, well, after I leave. Wow, there are just a lot of these, uh, weapon case. Out of the way. Fuckers! Oh, great! Oh, double great! Pale heads! Fuck, what am I going to do? Uh, I'm going to... no, no. I was going to Google real quick about the Pale Heads and see what their deal was. Okay, so those guys aren't nearly as dangerous as I once expected. But that pale head. I might be able to juke him if... If I can get him out here. Oh my god, are you guys kidding me? 